All right, I want to welcome you to the uh, to my sixth video on factoring. Uh, today, I want to uh, in this video I want to factor uh, trinomials again that are not perfect square trinomials. And in the last video, that's what we did. But in the last video, the number in front of x squared was a one. Well, what happens if it's not a 1? Well, I'm going to show you an AC method in this video, and then in the next video I do on factoring, we'll look at trial and error. So let's take a look at, at this problem here. Now, this is using the AC method. So we have 2x squared plus 7x plus 6. So when we factor it, or when we try to factor it, what we want to do is we want to multiply the 2 and the 6 together. The first term, or the, the coefficient of the first term, and we want to multiply the last term together. So we get 2 times 6 is equal to 12. And what we want to do is we want to list all the different ways we can multiply to get 12. Well, that's 1 times 12, 2 times 6, and 3 times 4. And then also we have negative 1 times negative 12. We have negative 2 times negative 6. I messed up there. Times negative 6. And then we also have negative 3 times negative 4. Okay. Now, what we want to do is we're going to take this middle term here and we want to see what can we use over here to get this middle term, add together to get this middle term. Well, you can see that it's the 3 and the 4. 3 plus 4 gives us 7. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this 2x squared plus 7x plus 6. I'm going to rewrite it as 2x squared. And now, instead of 7x, I'm going to rewrite that as 3x plus 4x and then I have my plus 6. So all I did is I rewrote 7x as 3x plus 4x. Now what I do, what I do is I have four terms. So I'm going to do like we did in the earlier video, factor by grouping. So I'm going to split this down the middle. And out of the first part, I'm going to factor out an x. So I get x times, and then I'm going to have uh, 2x plus 3. And then... I'm going to factor out the greatest common factor out of the second part, which I can factor out a 2. So that's plus 2 times oh, times 2x plus 3. And now look what I have. I have a common binomial factor of 2x plus 3. So I can factor that out. That gives me 2x plus 3 times, and then I'm left with x plus 2. And there's my final answer. And I have a an earlier video on factor by grouping. You can check that out. Now let's take a look at another problem. We have... 10x squared plus 13x minus 3. So just as in the 
earlier problem, I'm going to multiply the 10 and minus 3 together. So I have 10 times negative 3. That gives me negative 30. So what can I multiply together to give me negative 30? Well, that's negative 1 times 30, negative 2 times 15, negative 3 times 10, negative 5 times 6, and then also 1 times negative 30, 2 times negative 15, 3 times negative 10, and 5 times negative 6. Now, just like in the earlier problem, I want to find what I can use over here that will add together to give me negative 13. Well, we can see that is negative 2 and 15. <clears throat> so, I'm going to rewrite 10x squared plus 13x minus 3. That's going to give me 10x squared. And now the plus 13x, I'm going to rewrite it as minus 2x plus 15x and then minus 3. All I did is I rewrote 13x is minus 2x plus 15x. <clears throat> so now I'm going to factor by grouping. I'm going to split it down the middle and then I need to factor the first part and factor the second part. <clears throat> so out of the first part I can factor out 2x and so that's going to leave me with 5x minus 1 and out of the second part, I can factor out a 3. And that's going to leave me with 5x minus 1. So now I have a common binomial factor, 5x minus 1. So I can pull the, I can factor that out. So I get 5x minus 1 times 2x plus 3. And there's my answer. I hope this video helped. Uh, the next video in the sequence, it'll be factoring these types of trinomials that doesn't have a one in front of the x squared, but we'll use the trial and error, the trial and error method. Thanks.